This looks really dry, no, it's not useless. So I cut from here. I don't know how you cut so that um, the stick part doesn't really go inside. So I pluck that way because I might not be able. I learned some people use um, blender and um, it will still give some effects, but I'm used to the traditional way of squeezing it. So I'm going to squeeze out the juice from the leaves. You can add um, what you ever call the fairy sink leaf to yours. Those things grow everywhere. And so, after cutting out the leaves, we'll wash. After washing, we we'll squeeze out all the blend and seal the leaves out. And that'll be it. Okay, so to the very last. This is also very useful. It's not really totally useless. You can use it as chewing stick. I know most of you have forgotten using chewing stick, you know. Fantastic chewing stick. Makes your mouth very, very clean. Yorubani enwea da shaka. So <laughs> Alright. So let's go wash this after washing. The squeeze in that two hands. You're wondering how I'm gonna do with my nails? They don't stop me. Nah, they don't. <laughs> it's time to So, you feel you have enough juice, but no, don't stop. Remember, we're using this for ecosystem plate, so you have to squeeze until it's all crumbled, until you crush all the leaves, until you're certain all the leaves are properly crushed and useful for everything. You see what I warned you about earlier? You see the sticks? They won't go away. So, it's better to avoid them completely. They don't go away. So, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I told you earlier that my nails doesn't just stop me as an African woman. You work, you just work. All you gotta do is to wash your hands very, very well. You took a baby sponge afterwards. Okay, and that's what I did before I even started. So the next thing is to bring up and see. My person is a bit technical because of the foam. Like I said earlier, some people put things that can come out too that reduce the foaming. So. You see? Okay, so this um, is a squeeze out leaves. Okay, so this is it. And this is my arm. My arm. I'm working the seed with my hand so that it can roll. So that's how we roll. That's how we roll. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we have the leaves for our ecosystem. Okay, so that's the panla I mean, panla dry pan. Okay, so we start out with um, ham well, and the we treasure fry, the pepper, and then we put in the onion. This is the point where you put in other seasoning you want to be salt. Maggie and all, well, as you wish. This is low cost beans, you know, most of us are cooked with it. I love it so much. In fact, my soup isn't complete without it. Okay, you don't get crayfish for flavor, and of course, 
My granddad prayed for you. Don't worry about people. We really don't understand this absolutely. All say we want you to know. So that's when we noticed that you remember seeing me um, boiling this here. Okay. So this is the point where the African momo, uh, the type that my momo did, comes to play only two. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand that, don't worry. This is also stockfish. Okay, so of course that's that's stockfish. This is also stockfish, but this time that's dry. And this one is roasted. Um, Get up and um, washed. The crayfish is also washed already. So, um, this is our boiled beef and the stock. I love to mix my gussi uh, with a little bit of palm oil and with the stock if I use boiled um, meat uh, or fish at the time of cooking. So, uh, we're going to see about this fat on it. And so, this is my egg gussi. Okay, and of course, you know, I uh, washed. Um, water and um, um, beetle leaf, I washed beetle leaf for um, the soup and so it's all about the pussy and the time so this will be the last ingredient. The pot is dry already as you can see I'm sorry I can go too close to my phone is on airplane mode and I'm sure no coffee coming so our palm oil goes in first no oh, there's still little water in the pot then pepper First is our onions, little salt to taste. I have a spoon over my salt container but then I'm just teasing my hand. I tell you any kids on ninja. This is what your ruba say, oh so cool to your your and then I put it in my the low cost today. I'm gonna put in those other ones in it. No one will go back and of course the crayfish, I mean I'm gone. so the flavor can get into it. And so I stir and then I cover it up. Then allow it to just in for a few minutes before I put another ingredients, just for a minute or two. Hmm. If you don't cook with locust beans, you don't know what you're missing. Already, I am feeling the locust beans flavor. Let's leave this for a minute or two and then we'll come back to it. Okay, you can see the stains from the splash or the pan oil on the tiles, but then we're gonna put our feet. So, woo! Ah, smells good. So, let's get the, you know, let's get stock in from La Nino. And of course, because uh, we want the stock, like um, I mean, the dried stock and the beef to get soaked into the sauce. So we're gonna take this in right now. Um, this and this. And um, if anything is going in from the plate, it is obviously it is the stock. So all of this goes in. Okay, so. This is the point where we add a little bit of water into this and cover it to stay together. Ah. I hope you're enjoying this. Remember, I'm not um, a trained chef, so I'm just showing you how to do it in my kitchen. So I add a little salt to my egosi before mixing it up. The reason is simple. In Egypt, Shalang, we call a particular kind of egosi soup osiki, where you have um, balls of egosi in the soup. So by the time it is, it is forming the balls, they might not be able to absorb properly, absolutely, you know, the soup. And also, I just had a little salt, and then I love to add my granite crayfish into the egg directly. And then the stock. And be careful when you're sieving your stock. We've taken out uh, the fatty part of it, and so we don't let it all go in, because no matter how smart you are, a little bit of stone and all must still be in it. Okay, so another thing I do, I know it's not everyone that does that to their goose, is to add a bit of palm oil, just a little bit of palm oil to give it color. Just a little bit of palm oil to give it um, color. So I'm gonna blend this together and I need to be sure that I know, you know, all those balls are out. So I'm gonna break them all out and mix this up. This is how we keep mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. The palm oil, the stock, the pussy, the brand of crayfish, and the of salt. Uh, you can add um, other seasonings. I mean, <laughs> if you cook with them all the time, I don't, not always. So, this is a traditional meal, so let's just do it a track. So, this is how it goes into the soup. But I still need to mix a little bit of water into it. Okay, my gussie is ready to go into the pot. Like I said, this is how I create balls with it. You know, that way, as if you're making a carapo pop off here. So, wait for that, wait on it. Okay, while we were busy with the gussie, the beef, the stock and all, you know, we're busy boiling and they're ready right now. But I love to bring out um, condiments from my soap pot before putting a gussie 
so that the electricity can sink. You know, I told you I'm supposed to be frying. Okay, so there won't be space for that right now. So what I do is I bring out the beef, you know, the stock. I leave the shredded ones. So I bring them out, put the egg in. When egg is done, I put in the bitter leaf, and then it's after that I return the beef and all the things. So the space can be enough for the egg Okay, we're at the second to the last stage, so to say. So um, leaf out, so egg is ready to go in. So I begin to. Fry, fry. This is what the dishes and the kitty people call boshiki. Okay, so um, can about to fair see the babu go process. You must you must show that Johnny can la better. Hmm, can la my dash in a big one. You need that Just the way you put pork or akara on. What this does is, when the soup is ready, you see balls. They aren't gonna be this big anymore. Some will still uh, melt into the soup, but. You end up seeing balls, you know, imagine eating pounded yam or semo or a bar. And just the way you lift um, stock fish or pomo in the soup. Oh, I forgot to add pomo to the soup anyway. So that's the way you just lift one of this. Remember, has crayfish in it, a little bit of salt and palm oil. Okay, so someone has white palm oil. I don't know. Don't you just like the color? Maybe I don't just like it plain white, you know, after all, when it comes out as balls. So. That's about it. So you wash the bowl and pour the rest and cover up. You reduce um, the part, I mean, you reduce the fire under it so it doesn't get burnt. Okay, so this is the only disadvantage of having your nails on. So getting this off after cooking to make sure it doesn't reach jammed is real work. But let me tell you, by the time you finish cleaning up, the zinc, I mean, from all the things you use in washing, this will be off. Aren't you wondering we have the balls? <laughs> okay, I'm not too used to tasting my food, but from the aroma, I can tell that after about 10 minutes of cooking, or I think 12, the is done and the balls are hidden. Here comes our beetle leaf. Last steam. Gorgeous. Five minutes max, and our sword is ready. <laughs> then we can clean this right now. And of course, we need to keep this clean. No, we can't leave this this way now. We can't. Okay, so with the beetle leaf in the egg I'm sure you can see the balls. They are just hiding there. So now I can bring in my beef and stop back into it. The steam, voila! You could see is ready. <laughs> and I forgot to mention to you that you can actually add, um, you can actually add um, grated um, onion, ginger, garlic to your egg roast. You know, I, I mix um, crayfish and palm oil and um, um, stock with it. You can actually add those other things and any other thing that gives the soup flavor. So this is my oshiki. But you always know it it's when I start to use the balls, the balls, egg roast balls. I love it. Yeah. Don't be like